Hi, I'm back in my workshop now. The summer's over and so is September too. Um, I spent September teaching classes here in my workshop for people who want to learn stone carving and also getting um, a few commissions together um, in preparation for after May Magdalene. But I'm back now on the May Magdalene project and um, you can see that I've transferred the information from the line drawing onto the figure that was masoned out just before the start of the summer holidays. So in principle I'm ready to get going with my chisels. But just before I did that I wanted to make a close-up of Mary Magdalene's face because I just did a little vague approximation at this size but because her expression is so important to the overall um, sense of the, the completed sculpture I wanted to make sure that I really had the mood right um, before I started carving in stone. So here's my um, model here. Um, you can see the eyes look as if they're closed, but that's okay. She won't have closed eyes in the finished sculpture. But I didn't need to do that in clay. I, I've got enough to work from. And also her hair is very much block form, whereas in the finished sculpture I'll be carving more detail in the hair, but I don't need to do that in clay. I'll, this is enough for me to work from. Um, now today I'm going to cast it in plaster. Um, that's because, as you know, the, the clay dries out and cracks, so it's important to preserve the features before that happens. So today I've got some alginate silicon rubber, which comes in powder form, and I'm going to put the model into a container, mix this up with water until it's uh, like cream, and pour it over, and then when it's set, I'll take it take the, the whole block out of the container and with a sharp knife carefully cut a slit into it so that I can open it up and take out the clay model. Then I'll put it back in very carefully and into the hole that's left by the uh, from when I've taken out the clay model I'm going to pour some wet plaster and then after a few hours when the plaster's dry I'll peel off the silicon rubber and hopefully have a perfect copy of my clay maquette. So I'll um, come and speak to you when I'm at that stage. Bye bye.